Hi, I'm Tasha from the blog Designer Trapped in a Lawyer's Body, and today I'm going to show you how to use Mohawk hard fill sticks as well as Promark markers to give new life to old furniture. I rarely buy new furniture, and this is a great way to make old furniture look new again. I'm not wearing anything for safety today, but if you're concerned about the minor fumes that are going to come from the Promark markers, you can wear a mask. And you get to use this super fun burn-in knife for the project. It actually has a built-in safety feature, so you're going to have to press the button in and up to turn it on. But you still have to press the button in for it to actually activate and burn. Um, so once you release your finger, it's going to stop heating up. Today I'm working on this beat up desk, which has a lot of damage, but it's a beautiful piece. So I wanna restore it and make it pretty again. I'm gonna use the hard fill stick to fill this small ding, which has some depth to it. That's what hard fill sticks are meant for, to fill small to medium size uh, voids in your furniture. And before I use the hard fill stick, I'm gonna select a Promark marker to fill it in and get it as close to the color of the finish as I can. And if you can use a marker, you can do this. You just lightly color the area and get good coverage. And when you're done with that, you just wanna lightly rub over it with your finger so that it feathers into your existing finish. Then you want to select your hard fill stick. And again, you wanna get it as close to the finish as you can. Try to match it to the lighter portion of your furniture. And if anything, err on the side of selecting a color that's too light rather than too dark. Then you're gonna grab your fill-in stick Turn it on by pressing it up, the button in and pressing up. It gets hot pretty quickly. Don't burn yourself. And then you're just going to press it lightly against the fill stick. Don't worry about getting excess on your furniture. It will come right off. There's no reason to be intimidated by this. And tap it. If you're getting air bubbles, tap it with the burn and stick until they go dissipate. And just make sure the surface, the void is completely filled. Again, don't worry about excess, don't worry about drips. And we're gonna let that harden for a few minutes. It's been a few minutes and the hard fill has completely hardened, so now I'm gonna use the Mohawk leveling tool, which is just a plastic block with ridges on it, to level this down to the same surface as the desk. To do that, just place it over the hard fill and use light pressure to move back and forth. Don't worry about scratching the furniture and just keep testing it. And as soon as your finger can run over it without catching on the edges at all, you're done. That feels pretty good. And then the Mohawk leveling tool also comes with this handy tool to clean the leveling tool off. This is the spot that I filled with the hard fill and you can already tell it looks much much better But you can camouflage it even more using Mohawk's brush tip graining markers and Again, they come in a variety of colors. You just want to select one that's closest really to the lighter color uh, of your piece and you can see it has a feathery tip and you just want to pick out some of the grain in your furniture and try to mimic it so I'm gonna kind of go with this curved grain right here and just use real light pressure to go over it and I, you know you don't want to try to be perfect perfection is not the goal because grain and furniture is never perfect so just feather it on dab it a bit with your finger and that looks better already 
You can see how easy that was. It really is an easy DIY job that anyone can do at home. And after about 10 minutes, I've greatly improved the look of this beautiful piece of furniture.